very happy that I've made a friend. I think I'm gonna have to take you home now. That's it. We're, we're, we're bonded for life. Because you're sniffing in my ear. But he's like, wait, wait, someone else is coming. I, 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 I never mind. <laughs> yeah, Willow would love you. Willow would absolutely love you. Are you gonna bite my bum now? That's what Gypsy does. Caught your yawn perfectly there, Jay. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Because it's hard. Yo ho, yo ho, yo ho, yo ho, yo ho. Listen to the song they're playing. <laughs> it's Hava. Oh my god, maybe it was this bow that you heard before. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best thing. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, I'm just made it up Good. Moist. <laughs> Shop we went in yesterday. With the old phone. Yeah, really nice. Proper like twisted ones, you know. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Good morning. That is not my usual intro, but we're rolling with it this time. I'm in Whitby, and I've been in Whitby for nearly a whole week now. I haven't vlogged because I've been enjoying my holiday, but today is my second last day here. We're leaving tomorrow, and it is the Pirate Festival. But what has come to my attention is that it doesn't seem to be very well organised because I've been trying to find information about where it is in Whitby and where the events are and what you do and such. 
And although there's a lot of posters talking about the Pirate Festival, there's not really any details about where it is. So we're just going to wander around today and see what happens. We have no idea what's going on, really. And most notably, Whitby is <laughs> the goth capital of the UK, which I think I've spoken about before, because of its Dracula connotations, its connections with Bram Stoker and when he was writing Dracula. Because in Dracula there's a part in the story where Dracula's ship crashes in Whitby and he kind of causes havoc around town. Um, so yes, it's, it's a bit of a, a famous place in that story. And admittedly, it's why I initially wanted to explore it, but I fall in love with it in other ways, just because it's beautiful. And I love the sea, and it makes me happy to see the sea every morning. It's been so healing to see that ocean every single day. There's the abbey, and there's the sea, and I've been waking up to that every morning. We have a gorgeous little Airbnb called Cap The Captain's Rest, or Captain's Rest. It's really gorgeous. I have the attic room, and yes, it's two singles pushed together because Teddy was here, my partner Teddy. He's been here for pretty much the whole week. He left yesterday, um, and I'm feeling quite sad. I do miss him a lot, and I feel like maybe vlogging will help uh, settle my mind a bit and focus me for today because I am feeling a little bit sad, and I want to have fun for the remainder of the holiday. Uh, so hopefully we can have fun together and we can explore Whitby and I can show you around a bit. I got myself a new tattoo. And he's a little bat. His name is Vladdy, as in Vladimir. Dan got one as well. We now have matching bat tattoos. Um, obviously because it's Whitby and the whole Dracula thing. But I've wanted a bat tattooed for a long time. And, you know, like I said, now I have a real job. I can actually do things like this because I've never really had money before, so... going to cost even though there's so many little lovely coffee places but it's hard there's that there's there's a jay hello and there's dan hello. brushing him hair he's, he's brushing his hair I'm look brushing how my hair. yeah can we all take a moment to appreciate how beautiful that hair is i know it is truly gold it's like a waterfall of gold but the reason we can't go to a lot of the little independent places is we're worried that they won't have coconut milk for our coffee because we're that Snobby, no, we because most of us are well, like I can't have dairy, and Dan J don't really I like having like, like not to have it really. Um, so we it's hard for us to find coffee places we can have coffee at, so cost is a safe bet. So we're gonna do that first, and then possibly go to the Abbey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I that. which good. we can see right now from our window, right over there. I'll zoom in. It's your girl. It's your, your girl, Abby. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a girl's name. <laughs> when you need handles, two handles for your pasta cup, you know it's going to be a good day. <laughs> how do you drink it? Is that how you drink it? Like a soup bowl. Wow. I like how oh, that was yeah. just the start of me filming <laughs> with no context. <laughs> okay, man. Um, we had coffee. Yes, it was lovely. And we're going back to the house just now because I need to change my boots. Because... As one does. As one does. But I think um, it's probably unwise for me to wear these boots because they're rubbing against my new tattoo. And we don't want that, do we? So, I'm going to do that. It's very hot. It's nice. But it's lovely. It's a shame because I really, really wanted to wear the knee breeches and these boots, but this is just rubbing too much on my new tattoo, so I don't want to take that risk, and I'm going to wear my big boots 
that should kind of clear that area. So I'm going to have to change into like normal trousers, which is kind of sad, but at least I got to wear them <laughs> to Costa at least. <laughs> Marzipan truffles and Dan. This is the chocolate orange fudge. Oh, chocolate orange fudge. I'm oh, Heck. There is the 199 steps up to the Abbey, which we will climb shortly. Time to stop the steps. I'm not gonna keep count. Yeah. 
Our friend, the horsies. No, they're so cute. Hello, beans. Oh, you're having a nice scratch. Is that a nice scratch? Hello. Yeah, you've got a great view from up here. I've only just seen it. I'm pretty jealous. Oh, he's getting a good scratch. Yeah, I actually heard you said that. It's weird. I'm home again. A nice garden. Oh, what's that? Looks like a dragon. It's certainly an interesting man. Someone's put gravel in his mouth. Oh no! I don't think he wants to eat the gravel. He looks oh, like that. That's why he's making that face. Yeah. That's so beautiful. <laughs> I paid 
all together all separately? Um, separate? We'll separate. separate. Yeah, yeah. Five, just three nine five each. Okay, fantastic. Really nice. Oh my god. What? It says Dan. Oh my god, the sand says Dan. And there he is. He's right there. He's running. I haven't got him in shot. Dan, you have to accept that someone has summoned you here. Dan. I got a bug in my face. The ocean has requested you. Into the sea. Go on. no pirates there was a, well there was like a few people walking around with tricons no pirate based activities but no pirate based activities so i feel i feel very very under pirated today i'm hoping for better tomorrow yeah tomorrow we're leaving so we don't have the whole day but hopefully we'll see some pirate action but you showing our tattoos we i did i did show but we we need to show them together <laughs> wait wait how are we going to do this Oh, like that. Is that? <laughs> this is. Okay, there we go. We this unite. is. This is how we unite. This is how <laughs> Ivan and Vlad unite. And I like how they do look different. Yeah, they are definitely. Yeah. A little different. But Mine's got bigger nice. ears. But I like this it. This has bigger ears, and mine's like a bit darker. Yeah, yours is darker. More shading. Sorry to people that hate feet. That you'll just have to like <laughs> cringe. Like Sorry, people who don't like feet. <laughs> yeah. Um, but what we're doing right now is we have to basically get our stuff packed yeah. as much as possible tonight because tomorrow we have to get out of here by 10 a.m., which is going to be very hard because I am a lazy bastard and I, I don't function at 10, really. Um, so I haven't packed at all, and my stuff currently looks like this. Yeah, it's really bad. It's bad. I um, I don't deal well when I have to live out of a bag. And I know I probably, because I was staying here for a week, probably could have put them in there. But, like, who has the time? So I have to pack this now. I'm going to do that. Because after I do that, I can have wine. And that's, the, that's, that's my reward. <sighs> Wish me luck. It's not focusing, but it's Paddington too. That's all you need to know. <laughs> Look, Teddy is actual. No, show your face, you silly. Um, <laughs> Teddy, ah, show your face. Teddy is here. Um, we Teddy's actually here now, so I don't feel sad. The entire <laughs> vlog, the entire vlog was just me saying how sad I was that you weren't here. Oh no, and... Victor, no. Yes. Look so. Real. <laughs> Real boy. Real boy. Real boy. Re How long is your actual uh, train journey, Victor? Is it, is it really long? I think it is... Five hours? No, wait. So, yeah, around five hours. Around five hours? Well, yeah, so it's yeah. about the same amount as mine. Then. I know, that's why it's... That's why it's so weird. Mm. I don't get it. Good morning. It is the day that I'm going home. I got a bit drunk last night and forgot to really film a proper vlog. So 
hope you enjoyed the madness, which was the end of yesterday. Uh, right now, we're getting ready to leave because we have to get out of here by 10, which is quite an early checkout. Um, so, it's currently... I don't know what time it is. My phone's over there. Hold on. It's currently 17 minutes past 9. So, I have packed everything up, and I'm just doing my makeup. I'm just... I don't know, I'm just doing my usual thing where I use the Obsessed Be Very Afraid palette and I use the No Sleep, which is quite fitting. I did actually get sleep though. I got plenty of sleep, so I'm just adding the No Sleep to my aesthetic right now. I had to move the beds back as well to their original position because we had them pushed together. <laughs> so I had to do that this morning at like 7. It's actually a lovely day. It looks a bit windy because the waves are getting up a bit. But, yeah, really, really nice day. Me, Dan, and Jay are in Costa having coffee. Dan is wearing my hat. Looking very sad. We are quite sad because we are having to leave today. It is most, most sad. Um, <laughs> what was that? A mouthful of coffee when you hand over its face. So it was like, <laughs> did, all, did all the coffee just like drip out of the side of your mouth? Oh, no. I wish it did. Um, that would have been a great, I would have slowed it down. Uh, but I think what I'm going to do with the um, permission of Dan and Jay is I'm going to leave my bags with them for a second so I can go and buy myself some jet earrings because I really want jet earrings. It was on my bucket list. And then I'll also get to see what's going on in the town. Yeah, I know. Don't worry, I plan. It, I, I know it's going to happen pretty soon, so I may as well, may as well get it over with, you know. That's close. See when I did my coffee, when I drink my coffee, they only drink half my. Especially designed. Yeah, so I can just like take it off occasionally. It's actually tricorns were designed with uh, coffee drinking in mind. So that every time tricorns were designed with coffee drinking in mind. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like an ad. It does. Well, yeah, we forgot to say Captain Jack came and ordered a coffee. So that's promising. It's, it's promising. It's a good sign. Sign of things to come. I like how effectively the viewer right now is very small. Yeah. I'm good, like they're standing on the table, and I'm just like, you should, by the way, you should Dan is giant, patting your head right now. You should do giant ASMR. Giant ASMR, like, oh, hello, fee fi fo fum I smell whatever you are. You smell. I smell. That's it. So, I've left Dan and Jay and Costa, and I'm heading out on my own to go and get myself some jet earrings and see what's going on with the Pirate Festival. I think there's meant to be stuff going on kind of by the docks and by the train station. So I'm gonna have a look there in a second, but I'm gonna have a look in some of the jet shops. There's loads, so it's gonna be hard to pick which one. But there's one right here, so let's have a look. Torn between having simple studs like those or something a bit fancier. Hmm. I think I like those 15 pound ones, the ones with the little silver inlay around them. I think I get those. Well, that was easy. I got myself the first ones I saw, which I didn't think I'd do. I thought I would take longer to decide. But I got myself the £15 one set in silver, so I'm going to put them in soon, but we're going to see what's going on by the pier, see if there's any more pirates. But people are looking at me funny, but that's why I do it. So I can see some people down there, but at the moment I think it's quite early stages, so there's not really very many people. I was just stopped by a very lovely couple. And the lady said I should win the best dressed pirate competition because she likes my outfit that much. And I'm so flattered by that. I like how everyone that's dressed up today doesn't know where we're all meeting. That seems to be the theme. So, I don't know what's happening. The pirate guys over there are usually there because they do the boat trips. So they're not part of the festival. 
I can actually see some stalls in the distance on the pier there. So I think I'm gonna wander over there. You can't really see with this shot, but I'm trying. Um, and then I can't be too long though because Dan and Jay are waiting with my bags, but I'm just gonna have a quick look and then walk back. I can hear some ah ring, which is a good sign. But it started to rain, which is less fun. So I'm just gonna see what's going on around here, but I don't think I'll be staying very long. I felt so bad for that guy. <laughs> it's just very cringy. Not very many people there, but I think it might get a bit better later on. Um, I'm gonna head back to Dan and Jay because I can't be away for too long anyway. But it is quite funny. <laughs> It's Jay here, just to let everyone know that this is actually Victor. The, the real Victor. I mean, I mean, what's, what's the difference? He's, there he is. Yep. <laughs> also, can I draw attention to this, this guy's arm and how unreasonably long it is? Yeah. Yeah. It's you. There you go. Look at that disgustingly long arm. Yeah. It's, it's good. It's very good. This has been a J announcement. Good pay. Oh my god, I look hideous. So we are at the train station because we literally didn't know what else to do. And we're just gonna be waiting here. It's literally just past one and our train's at four, but this is the life we've chosen, the waiting life. We did, in fact, wait basically four hours at the train station. Our bags were so heavy we had no chance of being able to walk anywhere else with them for any length of time. And then our train arrived late, which didn't help our stress levels or morale after waiting so long anyway. I felt so sad to leave, but we were relieved to finally be on a train and not waiting on the platform. The scenery definitely helped the time pass quicker. After travelling for a few hours, we then changed to Newcastle, and were getting pretty lethargic by then. We were, however, treated to the most spectacular sunset as we got closer to home. Once got home, it was past midnight, and we all certainly felt like we travelled that long. It was very surreal to be back in my room again after getting so accustomed to our little home by the sea. I do miss Whitby, and this trip came at a time when I really needed an escape. And it delivered that and more. It was truly magical and I'll remember it for a long time. But for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you very soon.